abasana. Upi tu kolelo bana ngabale confession. Iza unene tu mi enu akba understand the damage ya ibandwan in bab. Mugil, magas tibanya na upi. I'm Piti Philander. I'm 29 years old. I'm mother of five. I'm dating Keegan, and we've been married for eight years now. Keegan is 30 years old. We've been staying together in Westbury. I came here to Nyan Nyan because there's something I want to confess to him. Piti, how are you? Good, thanks. I'm good. Please take a seat. Thank you. Uh, Piti, welcome to the show. My name is Luanda Potwan. Please tell me about yourself. Who is Piti? I like going out with my family. Sure. And then what kind of a person is Keegan? He's a very jolly person as well. Okay. Also loves out outdoors. Yeah. We've been together for 13 years. 13 years. Yes. That's a very long time, PJ. Mm -hmm. How old were you when you got married? I was 21 mm -hmm. and he was 22. So tell me, how is the marriage? It started off very good. Mm -hmm. Now it's not. I see. And how is that making you feel? Alone. Most of the time, marriages start off good yes. because people are in that honeymoon stage. But of course, as time go by, when challenges come, it depends on how you react to those challenges. So what do you want to confess to Keegan today? The children are very afraid of him. He is constantly arguing with me, swearing at me. Sure. He's aggressive. And I'm lonely in this marriage. Yeah. What do you mean by that? I need to parent my children behind closed doors, mm. and it's what makes me feel so lonely. Mm. So in other words, you're saying he's no longer there yeah. to co-parent? Yes. He's very proud of being a father at mm. first. He used to play with them. We used to be outdoors, mm. do our homework together. So when did this start? Since September last year. Okay, that's sudden, eh? Yeah. What do you think started all this? By him seeing someone. According to me, I'm like in his way. Mm -hmm. Oh. Uh, with the kid. They were saying this man could be tired of you and the kids. Yeah. And he wants to be with this side chick. Right? Yes. My goodness. When did you start realizing this? In October. I could see by his actions. Mm. He ended up locking me up in the room every day. What? And then I have to ask through the window for water. Approximately from what time to what time? 12 o'clock, midday, until 8 o'clock or 9 o'clock at night. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> what is the worst thing and the worst beating that he has ever given you? When he almost hit my front tooth out, but still he wanted to like sleep with me. At times I want to overdose myself, mm. I want to cut my pores, but then I'm thinking who's going to look after my children when I'm not there. So have you actually tried to commit suicide or it's just thoughts? What did cut you... my pores. And I hang myself. Were those the only times? No. I drink bleach. I even tried drinking sanitizer. When you do that, what is it that you're hoping for at that time? To die before he comes back. Okay, what about your kids? When I'm done crying, because most of the time my baby, she gets locked up with me. The nine-month one. Oh my because goodness. I breastfeed. And she sleeps when okay. I'm doing this. It takes away your human dignity. Yeah. This yeah. man is really putting you in jail in your own home. If I look at him, sometimes I wish he could even die. But mostly I regret even being with him. Do you still love him? Yeah. Sometimes I don't just look at him like that mm. monster I know. When he shows his good side, it's very good. Mm. He maintains my children. What do the kids say when you talk to them as a mother? They hug me. They make enough bread. And go put it in the room. If he comes back, there will be enough food there inside for mommy to eat. How are they but affected at school? They can't focus. One of them likes to cry and doesn't want to go to school because he says that he wants to look after me. You are a very, very strong and brave woman because it's only a strong woman that can endure yes. the things that you've endured mm. at the hands of Keegan. But at the same time, it's, it's a selfish woman that can still stay in that environment when yes. you know what it does to you and your children. Why are you allowing your kids to be subjected to that? They love their father very much. Now, I can't tell them that I don't, I no longer want to be with your father anymore. Then I'm concerned about you as well because women die yeah. as a result of this behavior. Or do you want to be part of that statistics of women that die before you can actually realize that you need to do something? No, I don't want to be one. Exactly. Who is working here? We both unemployed. You, is there anything that both of you are doing to change the situation? He does his jobs. I do play the. Is that enough for five kids? No. 
It is so sad, uh, BD, what has happened to you and what is happening to you. No woman deserves that kind of treatment. Do you understand? Yes. So who else is aware of this? My mother's passed on, so I got two sisters that stay with us. They encouraged me to leave him. His mother and his sister is, is not happy with what he's doing. Everything that has happened to you has damaged you internally. Yes. Has damaged you mentally yes. and emotionally. And I hope that counseling sessions that we are going to take you to is going to deal with that. What do you want to achieve by coming here? A peaceful life. Yeah. Yeah, I, I really understand what you're saying. Mm. Let's be clear why you are calling Keegan here. Okay. Beauty, you are calling Keegan to Nyan Nyan yes. to confess to him that your kids yes. are afraid of him. Yes. And because of that, you feel alone and lonely. Yes. Yet you are married. Mm -hmm. The second thing you want to address is not trying hard because you can't support seven people in the house yeah. with peace jobs yeah. and doesn't respect you anymore. Yeah. These are the things that you want to tell Keegan. Yeah. We're going to call Keegan, your husband of eight years, father of your five kids. We're going to give you a chance to talk to him. He's going to find us here inside. It's okay. Keegan. To come in, are you ready for him? Yes. Okay. Keegan, come on. I'm you can sit down, man. Thank you. Thank you. Keegan, we welcome you on the show. My name is Luanda Potter. Do you know uh, Piti? Yes. How do you know her? It's my wife, my children's mother. Nice one. What can you tell me about Piti? Yeah, we came a long way. Mm -hmm. What kind of a person is Piti? She's a nice person, mm -hmm. not a woman of many words. And I see that you are lighting up, you are smiling when yes. you're talking about it. I love her with all my heart. What can you tell me about the marriage? I'm a very aggressive guy. I get angry for anything. I like to lift my hands up. Pity, please look at him and tell him why he is here. The reason why I called you on the show is to let you know that the kids are very afraid of you. And I feel lonely even if I'm married to you. At times the children ask me some questions and then I can't answer them and I need you to answer them. Or they need advice, but the men's advice to a boy. But every time I say to the children and I do something with them, it's not it, it's not good enough for you. Then you call me dumb it or something like that. I do that because then maybe you when you're drunk and then you don't answer the way you're supposed to be answering. What do you think is the reason for your kids to be afraid of you? Because I'm always fighting in front of them. I swear a lot. Sometimes I will lift my hands up. How long have you been doing this? Since last year. Why do you do this? So she you answer me like I'm a child. So that makes you beat her up uh, and no, swear at her? No, I'm up. I'm just swearing. Yeah. And, and now and then I will lift my hands up. I think the reason why you're abusing me is because there's someone in your life. We are in your way of being with this person. Who's this person? I, I don't know. You remember someone came there and complained about you and asked me to help them. And then I told you, and then you denied it. No, I never denied it. I told you, come with me, let's go to that people. So you refused to go with me. She's the one cheating. Are you cheating on Kiga? No, I'm um, the truth, Kiki. When do I get the chance to cheat when I'm locked up? Uh-uh, you're not locked up. You gave me that to lock you up in the room. And I let the other kid there in the room. Is that true? I do that, yeah, because so then he's so angry. I... And then I tell him to lock me up to calm his anger. Are, are you saying to me you ask him to do that in protection of yourself? Yes. Is that what you're saying? Yes. No, it's not true. What do you think, then, is the reason for her to ask you to lock her up? Protect herself. Then you agree with her, then? But I'm not a dangerous person. Do you not see anything wrong? when your own wife is asking you to lock her up because she's afraid of you. I do. I want to stop it, but she's not giving me a bone to chew on. Okay, so how long do you lock her up? Let's say in a day. I don't, not long. How long does he lock you up? Tell him. Um, maybe from 12 to nine. Last time. Nine? Sorry, at night? At night, yeah. No, when the children will tell you, I wish I was a witness. A lot of times when I was locked up in the room, then I had to ask for water through the window. 
There's no neighbors giving her water through How windows. do you know that? You are not there when it happens. I am there. the one that you put go. a two-liter bottle in the room for them. My goodness, why are you treating this woman as your prisoner? No. When you do that, you do it in front of the kids. Would they still hope out with me if I do something like that in front of them? She said they don't do that anymore. They are afraid of you. Sometimes you, you, you tell them that I am not Therefore, I'm a useless person and all that nonsense. This woman even stabbed me once. Yes. Which she scratched me up. He gets angry and he's stronger than me. Then when he wants to attack me, then I, then I stab him. I like to, when, I, when she, she's here, then I make so, then she makes so, then she start fighting, you see? And then I'm just making a joke with her. Huh? That is how you joke with I your make, wife. I make sure then I run away. Yeah, I make jokes like that. No, 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 no. A wife that you beat up when you're making a joke like this, you, 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 you expect her to just take that joke. I don't think you value the fact that this woman wants your marriage to work. Keegan, another thing that he, she said outside, which is something we don't take lightly as this show, is that sometimes you force yourself on her. No, not by force. You, uh-uh. He forces himself. Then what do you do? I say, no, stop it, I'm sleeping, can I please sleep? Mm. And then why didn't you wake up and go down to the police station and open a case? That's actually a very good question. Why didn't you? Um, because it's my husband. They won't believe that your husband can rape you. You can't assume what police will think. If you feel violated, your duty you is to go and open a case. Go. No means no, sir. If you go do anything beyond that, then that's rape. So where do you stay? We have oh. very late mother of them. Is that, according to you, the other reason why do you think mm. she disrespects you? Living with the in-laws, yes. Ah. At all times, you swear at me for not having a job. But sometimes you need to get up and go and seek for a job. Yeah. There's not enough effort, you're not trying I hard enough. I need to do it, but it's hard to find. What's up with this unemployment? You not getting a job and believing that if you get a job, things will be better. I will support them by all, all, all means. Then she'll check up to me. As a husband. My brother, thank you for being honest. Now I understand what is going on. Basically here, because you are not working, you feel like this woman is not respecting you. She doesn't see you as a man because you're not bringing any income. Since you don't have the money to show her that, you resort to violence. Do you in any way ill-treat him and disrespect him? I do disrespect him sometimes, okay. but the reason isn't because he's staying at our house and he doesn't have a job now. I appreciate the little of the peace jobs that he brings in. Let me tell you something, my brother. What makes you a man is not money. What makes you a man is how you treat your woman. And the worst is that you are doing all this in front of the kids. Equality, you also have a responsibility of making sure that you don't disrespect him because he's unemployed. Where is this anger coming from, Kige? The well, family I background? When I was small. <laughs> how old were you? 10, 11. You are abused by who? My father. He fight with my mother, he hit me with Ayn and Shambok. What is the relationship with your father now? It's not. What was the reason behind you moving into their home? I was very suicidal. Are you aware that she's doing the same thing that you, you were doing as well, as a result of your actions? Why are you allowing that to happen to your, to your own family? It's a curse. I must break the curse. You are telling the kids, it's okay, my sons, to abuse your own wives. You are telling those girls that girls, it's okay to be abused. Do you understand? Yeah. We have a serious problem in this country of not taking care of the boy child. We are neglecting these boys and they grow up to be like Keegan. In Kosa, we are saying, um, to go, kyo, say, lul. In other words, you have to mold a child while they are still very young for them to become the men or the women that you want them to become tomorrow. She called you here, your wife, to tell you that your kids are afraid of you uh, and she also feels alone in this marriage. And then the second thing that she wanted to talk to you about, the issue of unemployment is really, really affecting okay. your peace at home. There is something else that she wants to talk to you about. Uh, PT, please talk to Keegan and tell him what is the third thing that you want to discuss with him. Please let us learn to respect one another, especially in front of the children. I lost my dignity. Mm -hmm. I, I don't feel proud to walk with my head up high in the street because of results of fighting and arguing. How can people respect?
expect us. Are we making a change? Okay, I have a few questions, and I will start with you, Keegan. The first time you saw your wife, what is it that attracted you to her? The smiles, okay. the softness, mm. kind person, lovingly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beauty, what attracted you to your husband, Keegan, the first time you saw him? The handsome, humble, mm -hmm. helpful. Mm. If you guys continue with this marriage, Keegan, what are the things that you would like her to change? You need to change your attitude and become the person that you were before when I met you. I would like you to stop talking loud and speak humbly. No fighting. Don't knock me in anymore. Now that you heard what she called you here for, what is it that is going to happen now? Are you staying in this marriage? Are you staying? I hope that everything that you promised her, you are going to do it for your family. She told me that there's someone that she talks to where she's frustrated. But I want her to tell you what that person says she must do. That person told me that um, I should leave you. How is that making you feel? Like a monster. Exactly. More reasons why you have to change that. But why now? I hope that there will be improvement. We, we must work on what we say we have. On. But I ask you, I will work on what you ask me for. And so that, so that there could be improvement. We're going to take you to an expert that is going to talk to you, hoping that after all that is going to happen there, you guys are going to become better partners to each other and better parents to your kids. Thank you for coming to the show. You can go well. Thank you. I will say to my wife, I love her, I appreciate her, and I will respect her. For taking the first step, Ubanangabani attend the counseling session. Foot is called Lubanaba. Is it those on Yambe Lagago, Luxugangu, Sinim Monele de Pumele? Mugeli, that is all we have for you today. Kumbulagas, you have Manega Macasas on Mobile One. He handled it to Facebook, eating Yan Yan on SAP So One. Good Twitter, it at real Yan Yan. Mugeli Kumbula, take care of the truth before it takes care of you. Dinitanda, Yan Yan.